Hello guys, welcome to Mass Effect 3. Uh, so it turns out I'm going to be doing this now anyways. Um, uh, I may stop it in the middle at some point and take a bit of a hiatus, but I'm not sure. Uh, so it's indeterminate at this point, so uh, I'm just telling you. Um, so, uh, what has happened up until this point? Uh, with, at least with respect to my run, I assume most of you have played this game by now. Uh, and if not, welcome. Uh, but if you haven't seen my previous two runs, so I've done the same save file in Mass Effect 1 and 2. I'm playing as the Infiltrator, because uh, the Infiltrator is fun. I actually tried some engineering in this game, and I was actually bored to death. I actually did not like the, uh, the, uh, engineer playstyle in this game at all. Uh, but it, it was just, it's just a me thing. Anyways, uh, so we've played mostly Renegade, but with any kind of choice that required you to keep people alive, I have kept them alive. For example, Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 1 is still alive. Um, things like that, uh, just to see them come into later games. Uh, well, this is the last game, so this is as later as it gets. Uh, so at this point, I don't have many qualms about killing people off now, uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's also the fact I'm not too familiar with this game too much, uh, and the choices. The choices get a bit complicated and a bit weird, uh, but I'm going to try and do my best to get a good ending. I'm not going to be just a total asshole and, you know, like, kill off characters that, you know, we're all attached to kind of thing. But with that being said, I still like the Renegade, um lines and things like that so uh this isn't like necessarily a revolutionary run or anything it's just like the game is now mature it's got like all the dlc and stuff for it which we have all i think all of it installed i'm not sure um with that being said we do have a couple mods with this too uh besides your regular graphical mods like uh like texture packs and e and b and sweet fx things like that some lights and stuff um I put in something called uh, Mass Effect 3 Recalibrated, which fixes some lore issues and just minor things here and there. That's all I understood from that. Um, I also installed something called Shorter Dreams. Uh, if you're familiar with this game, you know about the dream sequences with the kid. Uh, they're very long and stupid. Um, there's no mini games in this. The, like, the dream sequences are actually the most annoying part. So, we've kept the kid in. You can actually remove the kid from the game completely if you don't like him, but I've kept him in just for the sake of the developers wanted, like, that fucking part of the story in there. But they're long and annoying when you get there, so I've kind of uh, shortened those a little bit. Um, and uh, the next thing is that the war assets count for double in this because I don't want to play multiplayer. I'm not playing the fucking mobile game. Um, I just want to play single player and just try and, and like, obviously I'll get the, probably the best ending. I'll, I'll see. So, all the war assets are doubled. Uh, also FOV is up to 90, which is something you can do on the PC. Um, and I also have something that extends the conversation that, uh, um, Anderson gives you at the end of, end of the game. Uh, and that's it. I had some suggestions for some other things, like there's like an extended Galaxy mod, uh, a bunch of things you could do with, like, clothes and hairstyles and stuff like that. I I don't really care about cosmetic shit, to be honest. And as for Extended Galaxy Mod, it changes the game too much. Um, I think the only other thing is uh, we might see some Reapers around. Because I didn't change that at all. Which is the one thing I was kind of on the fence about. I, I didn't know if I wanted to change that. But uh, I guess I didn't, so... <laughs> with that being said, let's, I guess, get started. Um, so, we are going to import our, our wonderful save. Uh, import Mass Effect 2 character, and we have John Shepard. So, it tells me, it asks me which save I want to do, this is obviously... Oh, there you go, it tells me all the stuff here, uh, that I've done. So we've saved Malon's data, chose to save the council, rescued Ashley Williams on Vermeer, which is something that someone said I should change that. Uh, I've decided not to, because it's just what I did. I destroyed the Geth Heretics even though I didn't have to, um, but since everything is doubled in this, it do doesn't really matter. We left the Collector base to Cerberus, uh, we survived on the suicide mission with all 12 squad mates, uh, we romanced Liara, oh, it's, it's, it actually says, uh, apparently Miranda overrid Liara, that's interesting. Uh, so we did not remain faithful to Liara, uh, I, so ba basically the wiki was wrong on that. Uh, or, or I just, I didn't do it right, either one. Uh, which is also likely I maybe didn't do it, I, I maybe didn't do it in the correct order. That's okay, no one gives a fuck about this. 
Uh, we chose to save the council. Yeah, everything else is good here, so uh, we're good with that. Let's get going. Um, so, what's the difference between this and yeah? So I didn't change. I didn't change his. Uh, uh, I didn't change his face at all because fuck it. Um, I mean, I, I don't really care that much of it. I, I think he looks fine like that. Oh, we can change our class. Well, we're gonna stay as Infiltrator because Infiltrator is the most fun. And we're good. You cannot change it, make changes to your character after this point. That's fine. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Oh, hey, look, Jack Witchell got a part in this game. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reavers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reavers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaver. Hell, you spoke to one. That blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? Lieutenant Commander, how'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander, you hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. So why is your hair not in a bun? I guess it's fine. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. True enough. Admiral. 
Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Alright guys, welcome to the game. Display objectives. Alright, Anderson is an objective. So, I actually used to live in Vancouver. Uh, I hope we'd get back there one year, but, you know, I can tell you where we are and stuff. So that's like, I think that's like Cloud, no, 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 Coal Harbor or something, I think. I know, I know that thing is in Vancouver. It's like a fucking clown tent or something. I don't fucking know. But I think where we actually are standing is a place called Stanley Park. So it was full of trees and really nice, and they built this giant fucking building over it, so... That pretty much sounds like Vancouver to me. Uh, so I used to live like somewhere on the outside, so maybe we'll see it at some point. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm gonna be reapered in this timeline. I don't know. Look out! How do you stop them with no power? So that up there, it's uh, North Vancouver. Um, so I mean, that place is shit. So they honestly deserve far worse than reapers. Jump. 
it's farther than it looks. Uh, so at least, I mean, that one should just go over there right now and just do us all a favor, honestly. Oh, fuck that place. Uh, anyways. Come on, let's go. I mean, there was a nice, uh, restaurant, like, over there somewhere, but I think Down he's here, about to get reapered. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, now we have the, uh... Forgot to mention, we have the I gotta go poop run go this in this game. So I'm not sure why they would just destroy the nice forest here, but you know. Looks clear, let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with me, focusing heavy fire. We're about five minutes out. Husks! Take him out! Oh boy. Come on, we gotta move. I gotta say, the combat mechanics for this game aren't actually that bad. They're pretty good. Better than Mass Effect 2, I'll say that much. Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. Oh, we get to melee. Don't worry, we have this one, actually. Which is, we're gonna beam the fuck out of this, trust me. Don't let him grab you. I like teleported. I, I mean, the, the FOV is gonna do weird things, guys. I'm gonna teleport around and shit like that. All right, so we get 300 experience for uh, taking med kits, so we're never gonna use them to heal ourselves because that's an inefficient use of resources. Ever. Watch it. The fuck. All right, let's go. Do this way. Oh no, Jack Witchell. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. You should have listened. <laughs> Come on, you've got to get out of here. Take my hand. You can't stop them all. Shepard! In here. See you later, shitstain. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. It might be the only thing that saves us. The Council has to help us. You don't sound so sure. Nothing's sure. Look around you. What options do we have? Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Man, I'm already loving this FOV because, like, Real I counted, like, I, I think, like, four times that I was clipping through things that you wouldn't normally see because the FOV would be much lower than that. Fucking console games were a mistake. Oh, where are we now? We're in the same place still. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, we have 61 points we can fucking spend on some, sh uh, some shit here. Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, since I reset my um, powers in the last game, um, we had this is what we have now. So um, man, we're gonna spend a, we're gonna spend a little bit doing this um, for sure. Why is my renegade so low? What the fuck? 
Dude, I was not a goody two shoes, trust me. Alright, so. Uh, fitness increases like weight and melee damage bonus. That sounds good. Each minute, uh, uh increase melee damage by 75% for 30 seconds when an enemy is killed by heavy melee. Oh shit, yeah. Alright, what, what does tactical, tactical cloak do? So there doesn't seem to be much in terms of sniper rifles. A lot of the weapons in this game, they don't have any sort of, um, do increase melee damage by 50% while cloaked or recharge speed, either one. Oh, they're both really good though. Holy shit, guys. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, they, they decided to not have the sniper rifles, like, kind of, uh, class-based anymore, which is nice. Uh, so we're gonna... Why do I need a 10-second cloak? Yeah, 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 we can increase the duration even further with that, too. Alright, yeah, we're definitely doing melee damage. And I don't know if we really want to go into this. Increases sniper rifle damage by 40% or fire one power while cloaked. Okay, I think sniper damage is actually what we want. Alright. So we've maxed out tactical cloak. Alright, fitness does what? Uh, yeah, that's, that's punching shit, so obviously we want that. Uh, melee damage bonus, yes. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that one too. And, uh, oh, even more melee damage. And increase weapon damage by 25% for 20 seconds after an enemy is killed by heavy melee. Okay. This is going to be the best fucking sniper you've ever seen. And uh, this is uh, sniper time dilation stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too much into this because we actually need some offensive abilities. Like, you know, incinerate. And probably... Uh, um, and by the way, I can just reset this at some point. So probably wouldn't mind using having like some grenades too because they added that back in. Okay, then we're gonna spend the rest of it on uh, uh, on disruptor. Okay, what, what's actually the last point of operational master here? Uh, weapon damage by thing and sniper dilation. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, and we just need one point in disruptor or uh, free flash freeze and shatter unprotected enemies. Slow down the rest. Frozen targets won't regenerate health. These are both really- oh, actually, this is more weapon damage, it says. I don't know if it's only effective against, uh... Whatever, who cares. You guys can all judge me later. Alright, now we have a good amount of stuff, so... Let's, uh, let's just trade some of this stuff around. Okay, tactical cloak can be there. Alright, there we go. Oh good, North Van is finally destroyed. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come Friendlies. in. Holy shit. You two alright? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. Oh, we have incinerate now. Nice shot. I mean, it's really smooth, like, combat controls, you know? Also, we don't have, like, infinitely regenerating health, but I've noticed that they could actually kind of hit you from over here uh, while you're in cover, so that's why I'm trying to, like, dodge a little bit. I don't know if that even helps, though. I need some ammo. Oh, apparently I don't, actually. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Yeah, the cutscenes are really fucked up with these cutscenes, uh, <laughs> with this shit right now. Cause like I had, I saw Shepard without an arm and some other stuff. It was, like I said, FOV stuff. Oh man, the game knows, man. By the way, those are not you tested it right situations, because I I've actually increased the FOV. Oh shit. Uh, I I did put on ammo, right? Yeah. Let's try the grenade out. What? I missed? Wow. I'm terrible. 
I, I'm so glad I invested into that sniper time dilation. Fuck, I think I missed him. Maybe I didn't. So they, they, they bring us along like uh, some cannibals or whatever the fuck these things are. I sure hope I get another weapon. What the fuck? Also, by the way, uh, I thought there was a weapon wheel in this game to actually switch weapons uh, properly, like, you know, but no, there isn't. There's no weapon wheel. It's still this fucking garbage. Literally copy and paste into the costly uh, rip. I kind of just hold reload, you know? I don't know. Oh, don't worry, we have this thing now. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship at the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. <laughs> Lieutenant! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Wow, oh, they didn't waste any time. Alright, let's let's try out my grenade throwing skills. They're not very good. Let's try again. Okay, there's no way of me okay, I'm gonna not use that ever again. Alright, that's this is great. See what I mean? Like I got hit just slightly. It's like a graze, that's what it is. Okay, maybe I should like use my tactical cloak. It it does pause the game a little bit for you. When when you like get when you get your shields down. There's a lot of shit here though. So they, yeah, they've kind of changed us up a little bit. You and me both. Trying to fucking hit them. Actually, I didn't do... Uh, no, I did it. That cloak animation is kind of cool, actually. Actually, what the hell? I can just do this. Nice. I'm still in cover, though. Look, guys, I'm dodging. Okay, we have problems now. I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to use medkits. I absolutely fucking refuse. Running out of ammo. Whatever. Hopefully, I didn't need any more of that. Cavalry's here, gentlemen. About time. saw those men back there. There's a million more like them and they need a leader. Dude, half the time their, their feet are like in the ground and shit. And like, uh, like literally when, when the fucking cutscene camera is not in view anymore, the person at Bioware who is designing these cutscenes just fucking gives up. They're like, they're like Ashley's like gun pose just goes down. It's like, well, we're done with that. Like the exact second. It's like they're being paid by the fucking minute. <laughs> like, holy shit. I love this game. We're in this fight together. All right, so I I had to reset, I had to remove that FOV thing because I think it was fucking with the FOV stuff, uh, with how it's they zoom in and shit. Uh, I I kind of got the gist of that at the end, so um, I've restarted the game and I put the FOV actually to something. Oh, well, it's now the game's default, unfortunately. So we're in this fight together. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. 
We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Jack Witchell's a make it into Mass Effect 4. 